Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Craver and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as Burgundy. I'm still feeling a little sick, so I've been taking some time just getting rested up and such. So, uh, just one video for the coming days, but I hope to be back in full swing by the weekend. Now, as you can see, we are finally making money again, and we just need to get our trade sorted out again. I've already set my trade fleets back to uh, sailing where they need to go. And over here, yeah, we are still transferring almost everything into London. So we need a lot more trade power in London. And we can hopefully have that very soon with our ships. Other than that, uh, we are finally at peace. And I hope that we can stay at peace for a little while longer. Now we're already transferring 16 gold away. That's a lot. Uh, trade dispute. Oh, they are threatening our trade because we are moving too much out of here. I would assume they don't like that very much. So we do get, wow, minus 50% penalty because of uh, their embargo of me. Then again, we are making, we're sending much, much money back into Antwerp. So... The more money they send into London, the more money I get here, so... Uh, yeah, that's not bad, really. Um, ah, Great Britain is fabricating claims. No longer claim port 2, that's too bad. Ah, uh, well, one loan is coming due, and I can finally repay the first loan then. Yay! Yeah, these wars give a lot of money problems. Then again, we are at zero inflation because of our uh, economic ideas. Good. Portugal left the coalition. Now that leaves Austria, Switzerland, the Pope, and Venice. So, these three plus the Pope. I don't really mind the Pope, so I can always beat him up. Well, we are improving relations with Venice as well anyway, so... Allied to rival, I bet that would be Milan. How is Milan doing? Yeah, very well. Still improving relations, so... How are our relations looking? We're in marriage with Brittany, but no alliance. Leading Vassal with Ulm and Württemberg, and no alliance with the Hansa either. Ah, uh, sure, you can have military access. Ah, yeah, they're in a personal union with Sweden. Um, alliance action. Yeah, I have no diplomats, but they would accept an alliance. Then again, they are currently at war with many people. So, 170, we're almost at max out, and then we can, we can actually vassalize Cologne again, I think. Yes, we can. Once they're done, send some money, then we vassalize them. Still form the Dutch nation, still not going to happen, obviously. And right now I just want to get my tech back up to higher levels as well. Money, wow, 71. Trade is doing extremely well. Uh, yeah, almost 100 just from trade. Um, so, let's see. What's our force limit on the sea? We still have a... 11 left of force limit. Anyway, um, Diplomat is back. So let's... Economic ash action. Let's send them a gift to improve our relations by 25. And no, they would not do this. Insult from Magdeburg. Well, we have one more positive than negative reason. They should be accepting this. Um... Let's see, once our diplomat is back, what they say about it. Um, why would they not do it? Wow, they're just about at the wrong point. That's just... Uh, even this guy is actually helping us with his reputation. So we're just, we're just too short on it. Burgundian military power compared. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. Trust, they trust us implicitly. Base tax, distrust, you know, I'll try it, and they will reject it. I mean, 
we are one over so they should accept it makes me sad oh well france is uh, really small uh, we could invest in this one well if we could get to diplomatic influence we would actually be able to vassalize them outright but not going to happen right now because i want to tech up instead let's see basic buildings oh we can actually build a temple in co expiring casus belli sure royal marriage offer vassalization day Ooh, base tax difference is quite big how much base tax do they have in here then um revolts in ceylon oh well we have some troops there nine six and thirteen jeez that's a lot um actually i wanted hesse uh, you know what let's start uh, improving our relations with hesse right plus eight this can definitely become plus 100 and if we lose uh, one of our vassals down here we can ask hesse to be nice to us cologne you would still <sighs> Recently send a gift, that's not... Claims, influence... Oh, Kazan declared independence from the Golden Horde. So we have one tiny little... Uh, one tiny little province rebelling. Yeah, the Hordes are still freaking big. I mean, Kazakh is a Horde. The Timurids are still alive. We have Ceylon, yay! Anyway, yeah, our forces are uh, slowly but surely recovering. I mean, this is uh, army maintenance. Wow, it's not a lot with uh, because we don't have the manpower, obviously, to do any sort of bulk uh, increases in. Uh... Oh, we have actually a leader available. Well, we could get another leader for free, but right now. I'm good with that. Oh, I guess. Oh yeah, we could still build some more ships. We can actually build 11 of them. So let's start doing this. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 ships. 11 more to trade in the London node. And so one of our armies has quite some people yeah it has our uh, has our king in it and we still have this 16,000 strong army in the north of America I wonder if if we actually are going to see any uh, of the new world revolts in this game it would be very fun to see took decision no idea um, crush reform no I will crush them I don't like to deal with rebels. You guys can uh, do that. See, the, <laughs> the Kulsh troops were trying to help me out there. Not that that's really necessary. I mean, that was only 11,000 folks. So they're gone. Cologne still not doing it. Nope. Oh well, let's push up our relationship again. Maybe in a couple of years they will accept it would be fun to have them back as a vassal and they just are maybe a little bit too strong maybe I'm a bit too strong in comparison but that's fine at least there are, are good allies they like us a lot oh hello Bohemia you actually like us too stopped with Venice that's good to know so Switzerland left the coalition against us now yeah, let's start improving relationship with Magdeburg. They don't like us either, so... Um, let's see. Annexation could start in 41. Ah, the Pope left as well. That leaves just Venice and Austria. And in this case, well, we are pretty good in relationship with Venice, so they should at one point also decide to get out of it. Aragon declared a war on Foix, really? Against Foix? 
Oh, Aragon, I thought Portugal declared the war. I'm like, that's weird. Um, yeah, let's improve our relations with uh, Castile. Keep them happy. Mm -hmm. How's Britain? Ah, good. All my ships are ready. You guys get back there. Cost me some money for a while, but... Um, and you as well. Here we go, 45. And trade in London. How much money are we now transferring? 35? Holy crap. Um, Wurttemberg, royal marriage? Sure, we already declared war on Hesse. Hmm. Don't really care. Uh, I'm getting so much monarch power now because I have the ability to get this these things up quite high now. Always very good. Yearly prestige. What do we have actually right now? Production efficiency. Yeah, that's fine for now. More money. Um, you guys can go there. Uh, Warm Byzantium. You guys can go here. Military extras from Salzburg. Who are you fighting now? Oh, they are at war with Switzerland, Aragon, and Hungary. Okay. Uh, Portugal now commands the loyalty even of cardinals. Yeah, it's such an annoyance that Portugal took this colony from us. Now yeah, we will never be able to course Ceylon. Mm, bastards. I believe I will never be able. I mean, I could if I took some thing like Cameroon maybe from uh, ah Venice left so it's just Austria in the coalition against me they do have a shitload of allies Sweden France Sardinia Castile Portugal Ukraine Crimea really oh no Polotsk and the Hansa all allied to Austria all right finally getting down from the aggressive expansion with them and it's been a while since we removed anything from the Holy Roman Empire that was actually a part of uh, their country. Well, when they were emperor, that's been long enough now. So, new technology. Let's do diplomatic tech level 25. Three deckers, I believe that's the best uh, regular ship you can build. How expensive would they be? Well, let's first repay another loan. Uh, that will be the first one. How much would it cost to build one of these? 50 gold. And we need a quite a few. We need at least 25. Of course. Anyway, let's check with our buildings at least. Because I want some more grand shipyards and dry docks. Uh, let's build some... Let's wait one month for some more diplomatic power. There we go, more dry docks, always nice to have. Workshops. Uh, yeah, we could do so much more to expand stuff here and especially get some more fortresses as well, but still money. Uh, we could actually increase our manpower dr dramatically by building more armories and training fields. Also would reduce um, recruit time and the cost of regiments. Huh. Well, let's at least build a barracks in our capital. I mean, our capital needs to have any building possible. To be honest. And that would just leave the road network and the regimental camp after this. And we've built them all. Naval drill. How much are we actually away? Wow, very far. So let's do this then. Uh, merchant Marine, Lightship Combat Ability, very well, and Discipline, 15% once I finish these two. Always nice. 121 from Trade, are you serious? We're not even transferring that much in from London anymore at this point. Nation of Poland has collapsed, I think it said. Huh. Colonial range, global tariffs, spy offense, global trade power. Uh, would like the global trade power, but that would mean less power than we can have. Mm, how are our tariffs anyway? Only 8.23, that's not a lot. 
So let's just do the spy offense and see what we can do. Uh, we lost some. Ca wow, we lost Casas Bella against France. That doesn't happen a lot. I feel like fabricating a new claim, but then that would once again make aggressive expansion a thing. Hey, administrative technology, let's do this. And I can actually do the next level of ideas. Wave of Espirantism? Yeah, let's do the uh, knowledge is power for uh, two years of uh, increased, uh, increased revolt risk. That should be fine. Now we're actually 10 years ahead in both military and administrative tech. How are we compared to the world when it comes to tech? Oh my, I think we're the greenest of all. Portugal is at the same level, so is Br Britain, but the others are far behind. Colonialism on Granada? Ah, of course, because Granada. The Shawnee do still exist here. Huh. Still, yeah. Scotland is also still in existence. And how? Anyway, we have a free idea slot. Yeah, I think going for defensive would actually be the best for us right now. First finish up uh, quality though, but after that I feel defensive should be a good idea for us. Special buildings. Local tax in Vlaanderen could be pushed up. Any more manufactories? Ooh, wow, quite a lot actually. But Grand shipyards. Let's see here. Um, naval arsenal. Naval force limits plus four in total. That's something I really want to have in at least in Holland. So let's start on that there. We'll give it some... Well, no, I will take the inflation hit from them. I can reduce inflation regardless, and it's only 50 admin power. And the rest just goes automatically down. But I don't have 3,000 Duke cards just lying around. And I would have to take another loan. Ah, that's just... No. Well, we cannot repay this loan once it comes due, so... We actually... What? Is this even possible? We... Huh. We now have the most trade power in the London node. Apparently our ships are basically beating the British trade power in the node. But the British have put a lot of power into uh, Bordeaux for now. I believe, yeah, they are using a lot of ships here. Then again, that means that we are just pushing everything they put into London through to uh, Antwerp instead. Uh, you know, I actually like that we are having a little bit of peace for for a while in our country. Ooh, now they would accept the offer of vassalization? Excellent. Let's uh, work towards that. So we have gained some more, tr we lost the diplomatic reputation, but we also lost the distrust. Huh. That's actually pretty nice. Um, you could build a constable. You can build still a level 3 fortress. Okay, Burgundy, Cologne. So, hey, let's do this. Excellent. The once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to become a vassal of Grey Burgundy. And we can do the second-to-last quality idea now. Once more, and then we have finished up and get 15% discipline, making us even stronger in battle. Oh, we actually need to rebuild some cavalry now. Then again, I think... Getting some less cavalry would not be bad, and some more cannons out there. So I will build two cannons for each army to put them at um, one less on you, please. To put them all at twelve, then I need to build four cavalry units to add here, and then I can remove two cavalry units from each of these armies to push. 
Then we have a 2812 army. I think 8 should be f plenty of cavalry to have, really. I don't think more can even use flanking bonuses. And after that, we are probably going to increase our army, th um, our regular infantry size by 10,000 for each army. So we have uh, a very, very big roaming army. There we go, put you together. Um, 100 plus 8, plus 8, and plus 11. Oh, just so nice. Uh, we, oh, well, we can still make more textile. Huh. We are, I think we are the textile manufacturer of the world by now. Um, okay, so a grand shipyard has been built here. I want one in Zealand as well. Zealand and Holland are really the places where ships need to be built. So let's build the naval arsenal here as well. We're going to stop trying to improve relations with Magdeburg. Wow, all of our... Did Hansa lose something in the war? I think they did. Anyway, the Hansa. Can we not make an alliance? Yes, we can. Good job. Perfect. Um, Bohemia, let's... Wow, we can make an alliance with Bohemia as well. But let's improve our relations here. Let's just improve our relationship with Austria and see where that ends up. And France, actually, yeah, they can use a boost as well from us. I'll leave one diplomat available for random events. You all here. You two get there. And two more over here. Why didn't build it in the city itself? I don't know. Oh well. There we go. We have our armies of 40,000 once again. I th yeah, you know what? I think um, more cannons would not be bad either. Overseas expansion against Swahili. Conquest Ragusa. Oh my. Huh. They are going at it with the Hesse, actually. So that's a thing. I still cannot start my annexation. Both of them is in 1741. That's all fine. Ignore him, lose prestige, outwit him at court, or order his arrest. Yes, I will order his arrest. Is this seriously? Oh god, we cannot do this. This is forever giving us... Uh, oh. Yeah, Ceylon will forever give us expansion, uh, or overextension, I mean. Just annoying. Ah, Austria versus Bohemia. Well, Bohemia is a little bit bigger than Austria nowadays, so... Not sure how that war will go. Uh, Bohemia is the emperor, though, so that's good for them. We're actually at minus 35 with uh, Cologne. Wow. Yeah, the Imperial Authority is extremely high right now. Hungary, Bohemia, Castile. Hmm. There is a big war going on. Bohemia, Denmark, Hungary, Scotland, and Aragon. Oh, Aragon is at war with uh, Castile right now. Get our royal marriage back. We're doing very, very well. Um, let's see, naval equipment. Let's build some of these manufactories because they do give us some advantages. Really? Naval equipment? Is that? Oh, fish or salt as well. I guess that would mean that these provinces generate salt. And uh, let's see, province, yeah, salt and salt. Huh. Production leader bonus, guts produced. Really? Are we the production leader? Not sure, we must be the production leader when it comes to cloth, at least. It's impossible that we're not that. Supply demand is so much higher. Huh. Um, let's see, are there any triggered modifiers we could get? Wow, not a lot we can get. So we could conquer Mecca, we could conquer Jerusalem, or even Rome. Imperial integrity would 
Uh, part of the HRE, at least 25 members. Huh, you're not even 25 members, so... Less than 30%, any active trade node, provinces, Straits of Johor, Ganges Delta, Lower Sindh, or Comoran Cape. Whoa, that would increase that insanely, but we have a way to hide mercantilism, I assume. Um, mm, it's 35 and a half only, so... Um, embargoes on us. Improve our relationship a little bit more with uh, Britain, please. They see us as rivals. <laughs> Don't blame them. Anyway, I think this will be a good way to end this very peaceful episode for once. Is that Sweden beating up on France? Oh, so fun. He's actually at war. Ah, Gr oh yeah, Granada is the war is the war leader. So. Eh, we are trying to improve relations with France. I'm gonna stop that right now. And fabricate, fabricate. Ugh, what am I saying? Fabricate a claim. And I would like to have the claim on Perigord first. Or uh, wow, a very high chance of discovery actually, but. That's fine. Anyway, I am going to end this episode here. It's been peace in our time, but uh, the way France is behaving right now, I feel that they would be a very nice target to take out. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.